I have no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going, or literally what's in front of me, but let's see. What's up guys? We just made it to Montana and I backed into a parking spot really sick. Uh, we should have filmed it, but <laughs> we were more worried about just our first time ever parking into our, uh, our first ever RV spot. We've never done RVing before and we almost forgot to film setting up. So first things first, we got the dogs tied up. Then I plugged in the surge guy and it says we're good to go. I know it's I know there's way better surge protectors out there. That's something we'll get in the future. Right now, we're just picking good RV parks. And then uh, let's plug the power in and then let's get this uh, thing balanced out. And then we're going snowboarding tomorrow, but we're gonna cut in this video to the snowboarding. So uh, let's get power to the camper. You're good. So when we rolled in, we saw this guy had his awning at an angle. So, because when it rained, it like let the rain all off. Dude, what a genius. And so we, we stole that camper hack. There you go. First camper hack, let's go. It's freezing cold. I wasn't ready for this. It's only 30 degrees. It's gonna stay at 30 degrees. Uh, I mean, I got, I was kinda ready. I got stuff. I'm uh, riding, I'll be fine. The snow, it's gonna be pretty firm though. So. Uh, we're gonna have some harder snow to ride. I'm here, I got my lifting already. I should have filmed that stuff, but I'm I'm so like, I've never been here before and I don't want to be that super duper Jerry running around the camera. Uh, at least at a, such a small area like Beartooth. This place is so far so sick, so gnarly. They're just like making it work, which is super cool. Yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. So uh, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna wander over there, kind of figure it out. One dude came up to me, he's like, uh, you're not one of those fat snowboarders, are you? And I was like, what's a fat snowboarder? He's like, one of the ones that's gonna load the Puma and let go and shoot it off and derail the Puma. And I was like, no, <laughs> I won't do that, dude. But I'll let go. <laughs> so it was a super funny conversation. Yeah, and then some people are like coming here, getting ready and then driving. Someone, someone else is taking the car away. I, I'm leaving the car here, at least that's the plan. Um, I, I think I'm allowed to leave the car here. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. Let's, let's go start snowboarding, you know? Because it's just two Puma chairlifts, I haven't been here yet, anything like that. We're gonna do head cam today, by the way. Once we get the lay of the land, and tomorrow it's supposed to be a little nicer, um, we will use like selfie sticks and 360 cameras, make the pole disappear, get some really cool shots. But today, we're gonna just 360 cam or head cam it. Also, it's super windy outside. I don't know if it'll be less windy once you drop into the bowl. Um, but just know that uh, audio might be like, <laughs> just so you know. All right, I have no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going. Or literally what's in front of me, but let's see. I see
Alright guys, this is what we're looking at. It's so sick. That huge chunk of snow came off that cornice. Wind is definitely not that as bad up down here as it is up there. Two super short lifts. But I, I'm not complaining. This is so sick. How you doing? All right guys, this place is pretty insane. Just tied it with Lifty, he told me a better way to ride the platter thing. He said, try put it through your legs. I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot. Makes me nervous. But uh, dude, if you guys haven't noticed, they have groomed runs, which means, and they do have a snow cat. What? It's the last thing I was expecting here. I see a bunch of rails over there. I talked to the Lifty dude, he's like, yeah, normally we have a park, we didn't get that much snow. He's like, usually we build big jumps. I'm like, that's amazing. I've seen like on the website, you can see these huge jumps that they've built. Uh, so that's super sick. Overall, this place is insane. Obviously not a long run in a pretty long line, but in the middle of the summer, what can you like complain about? You know what I'm saying? Like this is heavy and so sick. I'm really nervous though, trying to put that platter between my legs. <laughs> Hi right, guys, so after seeing this place, would you come rip it? Looks pretty sick. I mean, it is pretty sick. Yeah, that's a game changer, man. And you Guys, this is Ben, and he watches the channel. He's from Minnesota. I didn't think we were gonna run into anybody out here. Dude, so sick. We might ride with him tomorrow, too. It could be heavy. Yeah. This is the jump we've been hitting and it's it's money right now. I don't even know if someone's like built it or what, but highly enjoying it.
All right, guys, that one was Chipmunk. We're headed up to the top. We haven't gone up the top one yet. They said it's like a 50 degree pitch up. It's like challenging. It's going to be challenging, but we'll ride it today. See what it feels like tomorrow. It should be warmer and that will all be a lot softer. And when that's all softer, we're going to um, rip that upper part because the upper part looks so sick. Uh, it's just a big old sheet of ice right now. Let that one go. Oh man, this looks so gnarly. Oh man, definitely gnarly. We're locked in, we're hanging on though. Maybe these guys are building a jump or something? Underneath the snake? Not that bad, honestly. If I had to use my arms, I would have died. Oh, dude, this slalom looks so good. Easy. Today was about figuring it out. So we only rock the helmet cam. I know where I can drop backpacks now. Um, it was firm. I had a feeling it was gonna be firm too, which holding a selfie stick and trying to ride firm snow, trust me, it's not, it's not that sick. So head cam was the way to go today, but uh, we'll be getting different angles. We'll be doing different stuff uh, the next couple days because we have two more days of riding here, which is so sick. Day one already in the books, kind of a short one but the family's down and it's the first day at the campsite and everything. And I don't want to leave them too long as well. And I know that this is kind of in Wyoming, but it's still kind of in uh, Montana and so we're staying in Montana. So I'm going to title this my first time snowboarding in Montana. I'm counting it. This thing is literally on the border, which is really cool. But of course, before we end today's video, we got to mention today's gear shout out. We got cozy underscore two with the red evolution hoodie. Dude, thank you so much for snagging evolution merch. Guys, if you want any of the evolution merch, evolution stickers, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, uh, it's all linked down in the description. If you do snag any of it, tag me on Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. And driving from Colorado all the way to Montana with the camper and coming out here and doing this, this stuff does cost money. So if you want to support these extra chasing snow type videos, uh, snacks and merch that really does support the channel. Or I, I now have this thing, it's a tip jar, it's down below. If you wanna throw gas money or tip or whatever, just say Jonathan, thanks for whatever. You, that's an option, you don't have to. Uh, that's linked down below. I hope you guys really did like this video. This, this ski area is gnarly, it's different, it's so cool. I feel like I'm learning so much more about skiing and snowboarding. Oh wait, let's talk about for a second. I was the only snowboarder out there today. That was weird being like one of the only, like you definitely like people like uh, the snowboarder dude. I can, t I can tell some snowboarders have come and, and uh, not done so well there. <laughs> and so people are like, they're like, they gotta like see you ripping before they're like, oh dude, what's up? What up? <laughs> so uh, like the first dude I was like, don't be a fat snowboarder. Well, thankfully we weren't a fat snowboarder today. And uh, yeah, it's super weird being like the only snowboarder on the mountain. A lot of ski racers, which didn't look like ski race terrain, but whatever, ski racers out here getting it and that's all that matters. But if you like this video, give a thumbs up, share the video if you want, let people know that you can come do this in the summer. And then of course, subscribe if you're new. We wanna help you become a better snowboarder as well as show you I didn't know this existed till last year and then I forgot about it. And then you guys reminded me like, this is incredible. And I can't wait to keep chasing stuff like this. And then next or in two weeks, or the first week in July, we're going to be out in hood hosting a summer camp. I've never done that. Like literally knocking off all these really cool things off the bucket list. So I'm so excited. I'm a talker, you know, I can, go, can keep talking forever, but, but this is where we're going to end today's video. Tomorrow we'll start at the camper or ended at the camper. I don't know. We're going to get some camping footage and some like cool hikes and things in. Uh, this whole Montana trip, we might, honestly, we might stay out in Montana, go to Washington and, and like stay up in this area before hood, not even go back to Colorado. Like that's why we got a camper to keep bringing you guys super sick content. But other than that, Team Hellcast, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another Beartooth Basin video. Let's go. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. 
Mama told me I'ma be somebody I ain't never gon' need nobody, no, no I ain't never gon' need nobody No cliffhanger, yes I so do Banger, I'm the new Mick 